To find kidney six, we come off the tip of the medial alveolus. If you go directly below that, you'll find this joint, the subtalar joint and the cystentaculum talli. If we go below that landmark on the calcaneus, we'll find the medial gutter of the ankle where you'll find the nerve, blood vessels, tendons. If we go down one sun from the medial malleolus, we'll find that cystentaculum talli. And here I'm palpating the flexor retinaculum. You'll feel a little depression as you come out of that. When the foot's in plantar flexion like this and in inversion, you're actually at the junction of the red and white skin. And if you comb across the bone with your fingernail, you'll feel some of the neural structures here. And you're feeling for a click to find the nerve. And what we wanna do is be careful of the pulse in this area. So if we find a pulse, we'll go above or below it. But what we're doing is palpating for the nerve. And you'll feel a little click when you get on it. Mark the location with your fingernail so that you're just off of the nerve. You don't want to needle directly into the nerve. This is how I was taught to do it in China. There's a lot of doctors who needle in this location which is a little more inferior to the location that we learn in our textbooks. And the way it was explained to me is that if the foot is in inversion like this, then the one sun distance below the medial malleolus is actually at this depression, which is at the red and white skin. And if you stimulate it with the pointer plus, you're gonna get some nerve recruitment. So we're stimulating here, we're getting part of the flexors of the toes. And this is an area that's considered to be more rich with dud chi sensation, obviously because the nerve is there. Another way to locate this point is the textbook location that we learn in school, which is one symbol of the medium alveolus, but the foot is more of a, a neutral position. And what you're going to do is you're going to come below the tendons of the tibialis posterior the flexor digitorum longus, and you're gonna actually be closer to the joint space of the subtalar joint, right above the cestentaculum talli. So earlier to get to the neural structures, we go below it, but another option is to go right above it in this very tiny depression. And this has a totally different action because you're now kneeling into the ligamentous structures and to the joint space. When the foot's inverted, the joint space is blocked. When it's everted, it's open, and the needle will go in easier. And it'll feel really sticky when you're in the joint space. So this is two different ways to needle kidney six.